Oh, kisses. That's so nice. I hope no. that's 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 not as nice. Oh, no. You like it, oh, thank you. <laughs> Noah, are you so happy? Are you dancing? Dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> is this your celebration dance? Today is the day. We are just in the process of packing up all of our things, getting the rest of the house cleaned, and this morning, in a couple of hours' time, we are checking out of this house. And we have to admit, we've got to the mindset where we feel just good riddance. We are done with trying to maintain two houses and just all the stress that comes with it. So we're looking forward to getting back to Belgium. Ready? <laughs> Is that so funny? You do another one, Leo. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness, he just died over his head. Leo, are you okay? You're crazy. You, well, you need to be careful when you Are you crazy too? <laughs> right, Leo, can you help Daddy? We've got to put this one, this one, this one, and this one. We've got to put them all in the car. Do you think it'll fit? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to help me put it in? Yeah. Okie dokie. The important pepper pillow needs to go in. Good job. Good job, boys. That's quite a heavy bucket. You're going to carry it to the car for me. Noah, are you going to help Leo? <laughs> yep, I'm going to make it lighter by taking everything out. Look at all of that. Look how organised and efficient all of that is. We're going to have to get rid of this car soon and I'm going to be really gutted because this car has been amazing. You can just fit so much stuff in. There's loads of space, but we can no longer have our British car in Belgium. So it's going to be really sad when we have to get rid of this. On Friday, we sold our fridge. And so yesterday, something very tragic happened and milk went bad. So this morning, we're going to have to go to McDonald's for breakfast, which is such a hardship. I'm lying, it's not. I'm so excited. I'm excited too. Good, I'm really glad. Here he comes. Where's Noah? He's so excited. <laughs> Come have some breakfast. I'm happy. Oh. <laughs> that looks like heaven. Leo, what did you get? Some pancakes. Wow, you're such a lucky boy. And what did No No get? He's sharing <gasps> them. Pancakes. What did Jojo get? They smell delicious, those pancakes. It's such an egg McMuffin. I'm so excited. <laughs> so good. Joe is a McDonald's veteran. Like, she loves the breakfast. I didn't know what to get. So I was like, if it's good enough for Joe, it's good enough for me. Is it like, is it like a sandwich? A sandwich. That is a pretty good sandwich. You have pancake and sausage in your sandwich. You are such a big boy now. Drinking from a straw. Oh, oh, oh. Good oh, job. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Not quite a big boy yet. We've just got back to our house, and the letting agent lady is just about to arrive. And there's a few last minute things we need to do. Joe is cleaning the windows. Please don't Outside fall out. of them. I cleaned the inside already. <laughs> And I've just been to the supermarket to quickly buy some light bulbs because two of them had blown. And I have to admit, I'm feeling really nervous. Joanne and I were working out that in the last four years since we've been married, we've rented 10 different properties in four different countries. And I think this is the one that I'm feeling most nervous about just because there have been a lot of outstanding issues with the inventory and just different things. So fingers crossed it's gonna go well. That was a very awkward and frustrating experience. One that I never want to be repeated again. I felt like I was able to get things off my chest and tell her things I wasn't happy with. And we went through the inventory together and I'm expecting we're gonna have to pay for some things and I'm gonna write a letter but we've had time to calm down and take some deep breaths we're now just gonna have some fun at Nana's house and have lunch with them just before we go back to Belgium and we've just arrived and look what has happened they are both fast asleep you boys are so cheeky we've got like six or seven hours later we're gonna begin the car and they won't sleep a wink you are so cheeky I knew you would come running because I've got my birthday cake. Does that look super good? Yum yum. If you ask daddy nicely, I might let you have some. Please. Okay, would you like to try some? This is daddy's birthday cake from yesterday. This is daddy's birthday a week today. This cake is super good, but unfortunately Nana has run out of ice cream, so I had to have some cream instead. But it's still delicious, isn't it? Yum yum. I'll yum yum camera. yum. I'll eat camera. You can eat the camera? Yeah. Okay, I'll eat the cake then. Deal. Look who's come to join me now. You cheeky boy. I was supposed to give you a spoon. You just went straight for the finger. Oh, you lucky boy. Would you like some cake? Come on. It's now or never. I will eat it. It's going back into my mouth. No. Going back. Oh, it's going back. Would you like some cake? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> you have to come 10%, Noah. Oh. Is that so tasty? Boys, I I don't think this is the best idea. You had a sword fight the other day, but the stakes are now higher with ice lollies. <laughs> Leo, do you think this is a good idea? Yeah. <laughs> Noah, do you think this is a good idea? 
Yeah, that's a better idea. Just to eat them. I've been hit. You've been hit. Did Noah get your t-shirt? And then you were cheeky and you got Noah's t-shirt no, 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 there. Right. Seriously, boys, this is a really messy game. And it's a waste of really good ice lollies. <laughs> no, I am actually going to eat it. I will eat it. No. Don't think I won't. <laughs> these, these are not empty threats, Leo. <laughs> Can you say goodbye to Nana for me? Give a big kiss and a cuddle, and you need to Good say <laughs> wishful thinking. Can you say we will see you soon? See you soon. We have set off on our six hour, well hopefully six hour, hopefully not much longer than that, journey back to Belgium. And we've been in the car for 10 minutes so far, and we've already had the request to get out. I think it's safe to say it's going to be an interesting journey. Absolute nightmare. We've just arrived at the Eurotunnel terminal. For the first time ever, we are an hour early. And there are delays up to two hours because they booked too many people on, so they're not even showing the letters and the times up on the screen. So we're just gonna have to chill here for a bit until they tell us we can get on. But you're happy, aren't you? Only doing five minutes. We can go play if you like. And run around in here. We can. To distract themselves from this long wait, I'm pretty sure the boys have turned to comfort eating. They've already cleared off two oranges and now a packet of crisps each. Are you boys hungry? <laughs> Apparently so, we're actually running out of food. This is a problem. So we're back outside because the boys are running around everywhere. Everyone was judging us. It was a little bit crazy, but a silver lining is that the delay has gone down from 120 minutes to 60 minutes. But our departure time is, has gone from 20 past five to 10 to seven. So we now need to think of some other ways to entertain the children. And mummy has a super good idea. Do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna buy a magazine. You and Noah need to agree on a magazine that you can share and read. Which one would you like? Um, <laughs> Toy box bugs. No one's Peppa Pig. This what one's called that? dinosaurs in dinosaurs and animals. I think that you both would enjoy that. Wow. I can get them out. I can get them out. Yeah, I think that was excited. <laughs> This is so funny because I remember when my parents and I used to go on long trips and things like that that they'd always buy us a magazine. So it's really funny, Leo, doing this with you. Oh, Noah! Kisses! That's so nice. Oh, no. that's, that's, that's not as nice. You like it, little doggy? <laughs> You're so cheeky! <laughs> We made it onto the train. The wait wasn't too bad in the end. They did manage to speed up some of it so that we didn't have to wait too long. And the first thing the boys wanted when we got on the train was some more food. Yeah, well, I feel like I'm feeding the ducks in the park. Would you like some? Ready? <laughs> Look at that face! <laughs> We are finally home. Luckily, this journey didn't take as long as the journey over to the UK a couple of days ago, but it's so good to be home. We're just unloading the car and putting the boys to bed, and it does feel like home, which is so nice, because it was so weird closing down our old home in Newport, and that doesn't feel like home at all. If you enjoyed watching today's video, give us a big thumbs up. We're excited to make another video for you guys. Tomorrow, we make videos every single day, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night.